Today we kicking it back. We're going to 2006 with the Air Jordan 14 Seamless Sample. Now this is one of a few. There was a black leather version, which I no longer have anymore, but I still wanna give you guys a look at the white pair. When it comes to collecting samples and PEs back in the day, honestly, it was simpler times. And there was a lot of dope stuff. Just look at some of these images right here. The fives, the fours, the 11s, the 14s, the 19s. There were just so many cool things back in the day. And it was way more affordable too. So if you guys remember during this 2006 era, there were a ton of Air Jordan 14s that were already releasing to the public. We saw the Black Toes, we saw the Candy Cane, we saw the Last Shots, we saw the Forest Green, the Dark Cinders, we saw the Chartres was one of my favorites. And we can't forget the Women's Linen 14s. Those were crazy as well. I remember getting those at the outlet and like nobody wanted them and I used to love rocking those. It's crazy to think I used to have all these shoes back in high school and just didn't even realize how great they are. And now I'm just like, damn, I wish I had them back. But I know like they're probably not wearable, which is a whole nother topic, but I need Jordan brand to bring that same energy they had back then on the Air Jordan 14s and give us some new fire colorways like that. So as you can see, besides all that, it was a great time to be a sneakerhead and it still is currently to this day. But this was one of the shoes that they were working on that they ended up never coming out. Now I'm not sure if you guys saw, but I did the seamless Air Jordan 10s. I haven't done a full review on those, so I might show those on the channel next. So now that you guys know a little bit more about the shoe and how we got to this point, let's go ahead and go over all the details. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Starting with the outsole, as you can see, classic to the Air Jordan 14 bottom. You got your hair and bone traction right here on the front and the back end, and then on the ball of the foot right here, you're gonna have the 14 in silver, and then you're gonna have that carbon fiber here all in silver with the black jump man in the middle. Now wrapping up to the midsole, you're gonna have the same thing here, giving you those side flares like you would see on the Ferrari with the carbon fiber here, and then the black polyurethane going all the way around and on the front end around the toe. Classic for the Jordan 14, I love this hit. You got those same two black pieces here on the front end, but if you look really, really closely, it's got more of a metallic finish to it like you would see on a car. Now, when it comes to the upper, this is gonna be covered in a premium white leather, and it's gonna be slightly tumbled as you can see. And then on the back end right here, we're gonna have an all black plastic piece here with the silver branding on the inside. Now, wrapping to the front end around the toe, typically you see that stitching with the additional pieces. They got rid of that entirely, and they decided to only add it right here on the inside of the foot. Typically, we see a lot more seams on the original version compared to this version right here, as you can see with the two images side by side. Now on the front end of the toe, you're gonna have your black Jumpman stitched right there. And on the top end of the tongue right here, all with the white premium leather. Now one small detail that I think is extremely dope, they put the white fur all throughout the inside of the foot right here. It's kind of got that furry velvet type feel to it. And you can see that right here on the collar on the back end where it's black. It's funny because even people from back in the day, they didn't even realize because it's so subtle inside the shoe. But again, I wanted to point that out for you guys. Now these come standard with a pair of all white laces, classic to the Air Jordan 14. And you're gonna have the silver tips right here. Ah, oh, brings back so many memories. And on the top half of the tongue, that's gonna be in black. And then you're gonna have a Jordan branding here with white text and a 14 in Roman numerals on the back end in white text. Now, like I said earlier, you're gonna have that black fabric all on the inside of the collar, and then you have your black insole with the white jump man. Now, going to the back end of the shoe, one of a lot of people's favorite elements of the Air Jordan 14, similar to the tire and the back end and the rear of a car, you're gonna have that wrapping all the way throughout the top with a white plastic piece here and a white mesh just above that, and then your black jump man and your black 23 branding on the back end on the heel. So as you guys can see, a lot of cool details and a lot of switch ups compared to your standard Air Jordan 14. Whether it's a low top or a high top or the black toes with the ribs or without the ribs, either way, it's way different than your typical Air Jordan 14. These have personally been a fan favorite of mine for many of years and they have been sitting in my closet for many of years as well. If they were my size, I would 100% be rocking these things. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. If you guys wanna see any other samples or PEs, I have a fully curated playlist with a ton of different stuff inside of it. So make sure you guys go watch that after this video and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more. I'll see you guys in another one. We gotta pull out some more stuff from the archive. I'm still scratching the surface i would never let you down it's in my dna hey, the hey, only choice i like to make what i'm aware today i would never let you down it's in my dna the only choice i like to